Hey guys, Janet here with Crafting It Up in Creations, coming at you today with a rather large Dollar Tree haul. I frequented in some within the last week um, out of town, so I got to go about three or four different ones. Found several different new things. Um, as we all know, Dollar Tree likes to set out things like months in advance. Like I saw Memorial Day, July 4th stuff back in January, even before they had really started setting out um, Valentine's Day stuff. So I found a few things. I also found something that I've been out on the lookout for for since after Christmas as well. Um, we all know that Dollar Tree carries the charger plates and I knew that they online they shown a white one with a pearlized finish and I'm all about that. I made some houses last Christmas with a pearlized finish to them and I was like oh how pretty would that be so I don't know if I can quite get this on camera maybe look how pretty that is the Dollar Tree I went into had three of them and I was bad I did go ahead and pick up all three I would have loved to had more of these I guess because if I would ever want to do like a tablescape these would be perfect I mean they are just beautiful and of course it's just like all the others it's got that um, I guess that hammered nail look sort of at the edge but they're finished quite nice you know of course it just says for decorative use only anyway but I mean how pretty would that be under your actual plate but it's so pretty that you know you could put one of the wall art sayings on that and Dollar Tree of course has those little plate holders or you know anything to hold a shelf holder um, to hold that up in and that would be wonderful too. I have done uh, a fall greeting on one before. That was um, before I knew that Dollar Tree really even sold some of these plate um, chargers. But I love that. I was so excited to find that. So Dollar Tree, I've been running around looking for some of these. They look really elegant. This is a soap dispenser. I've hauled it before. I'm just going to show you because I have big plans in the next couple weeks of doing something else a little different with this. I'm probably going to use like chalk paint on it or, or something, but I have some ideas in my head and it's so pretty. It's really elegant. They have some that are white plastic that are on the top. Now this just is made to look like silver, of course, but it's still plastic, but it looks really much more elegant than the other much more um, higher priced even. They also have these little white plain soap dishes. Some of them that they're coming out with now actually say soap in the middle of them, but I prefer the plain ones. Then you can do whatever you want to. Make it a ring dish, you know, whatever. Then they came out with the mason jar ones. I'm finding these intermittently at different Dollar Trees. I only find like a couple at a time. The first color that they had was this red and this one's the toothbrush holder but I found this in the soap dispenser as well and it's really nice it's pretty thick and it's it's not heavy heavy but it's a decent size so then you know they have the red they have this gray and it, of course it has that nice dispenser at the top and then and then they also have black. So they have the soap dispenser, they have the toothbrush holder, and then they also now have a little soap dispenser that I found. They had this in all three colors, but like I say, it was intermittent that I just found these. Some of them are even in a different spot. like. It was in the same row, but maybe somebody carried them over, but it was just really weird. But I really, I love that soap dispenser holder. I'm probably not going to use it for that reason. It'll probably be, you know, you could use this as a spoon rest in your kitchen. You could use it as a, a ring holder. You know, don't have to just do it as a soap dish holder. And even as a soap dish holder in your kitchen, this is super cute. So, but, and here's the, I don't know if I, sh can't even remember if I showed the black toothbrush holder. But I really like that. My idea right now is to use these in my craft room, maybe to hold brushes or something, because it's not real wide opening, but maybe to put different brushes in different things. And I may even label them. Like some brushes I would only want to use for glue, some brushes to use just for acrylic type paints. So we'll see. So I was standing in line at the checkout and I saw these little 
MVP minis. They're featuring the favorite emoji characters. And, of course, I had to get them all. I don't even know what I need them for, but it would be a fun little way to decorate, you know, my, my little craft area. But there's the poop emoji. And here's the little cool guy on his surfboard. And he had the puppy dog. His name is Buddy. I guess this one's name is Tanner. And of course, <laughs> the poop's name is Smelvin. It gives a little card on the back, but I don't know how you can open this up without tearing it. So maybe you just have to cut it, up, you know, from the get-go. The one that has lovey-dovey eyes, his name is Romeo. I have the monkey, his name is Bobo. I guess he's my favorite. I have not seen this before. Um, this is Ultra Care Coconut Oil, and it's in a really pretty small container, um, but it's made in the USA. It's Via Natural, and I just thought maybe I would try this. It says it promotes stronger, shinier, and healthier hair, moisturized skin, cuticles, and nails. Concentrated natural oils, um, moisturizing oil for hair, scalp, and body. It's only 1.5 ounces, so it's really small, so maybe it's just something really good. Um, I end up coloring my hair because of the grays, but I kind of left the color on a while back for a little longer than I should have, and it just feels like my hair is really dry, a lot drier than it has been. And so in order to feel like um, I like, like it soft, I don't want to cut it all off. It has a smell to it. Yeah, it definitely has like a coconut smell to it. It's a really small um, container, but I thought maybe I would give it a try. I'll try to remember to, to let you know, maybe even pin the post to the top of this later on, you know, if I, if I think it's worthy. But I ended up getting two of them. I hated almost in a way to pay a dollar for such a small thing, but at the same time, I can't help but think that if you went to like Sally Beauty or even Walmart or, or CVS that you would pay a lot more even just for this. All right, so I did not know that Dollar Tree, until I watched somebody else's haul or, or DIY, that some of these LED candles changed colors get a pack of these it's 120 total hours I guess it's 60 each but it's color changing LED lights in these and I thought how perfect for my little fairy jar that I made and so it actually does change colors on the wick on the wick on the flame which I thought was pretty cool see that's green and well now it's blue I'll say the green kind of looked blue in the thing, but then it goes to a white and a yellow. It's kind of hard to appreciate it, I guess, just because the other lights kind of competing. But I was impressed. I didn't know that they sold the different colors. I found the dome lights, and I've even found the ones that you can place under water, and those are really cool too. Now you cannot get those anywhere for a dollar, and you get two of those in a package. So I have another DIY in mind. So I did buy three of the containers. These have little rubber feet on the bottom of them and they even have the little rubber in the middle. Um, I'm thinking about painting these though, so we'll see. So I just went ahead and got white, of course. It might've been easier to get black, but I found this and then I also got some of this grip liner. It's just a non-slip shelf liner and I just got one pack of that. I don't plan to use it on this because it already has the grip in it, but I have some other ideas of some things to use these for. So Toolbench um, has their own little self-adhesive hooks out now. There's 12 in this pack, and I'm gonna try these to hold up the little uh, baskets in the bathroom, in the kids' bathroom, to hold just the trash bags. They did have soft lips at one of my Dollar Trees. This is in the pearl color. And I always like the Soft Lips brand, so I thought for a dollar that was a good so, deal. I usually see this brand at Walmart, and I've gotten the nail polish before, but Dollar Tree also had the lip gloss. This might be too light for me, and this might be too dark for me. We'll see. 
but I can always give it to my girls um, because their skin tones are a little bit different than mine, but I thought these were pretty colors. I didn't see any other colors to choose from at mine, but they may still have other colors to, to pick from. I got these color therapy markers before, but I did not see these colors. It's like a turquoise, um, a muted purple, and I don't know, I thought I'd get these and throw them in my collection. I think at one time my Dollar Tree only had like two different sets to choose from, so I don't know how many sets they have, but. So I picked up a couple of the larger tea lights. You get 120 hours per tea light. This has the yellow LED flame. Just picked up a pack of those. And Dollar Tree, um, before Father's Day, had some of these signs out. They have the little hole in the back where you can hang them up easily, but this is like Dad's Rules. And these are cute. Um, start the day with coffee. Don't touch the car. Respect the lawn. So this is pretty cool by itself. You know, there's some dad's house rules. And then this is the same as the last. But I have a DIY plan for this, mostly because the edges were already finished on these. They're just black. Um, but I'm going to use some wall art on these. So I'm going to recover these, maybe paint them with chalk paint or something. And I was thinking about using all three of them to hang from each other to put on the wall. Dollar Tree had a, one of the ones that I went to had a bunch of new ribbon out. So all these are sheer ribbons and different colors. And I just ended up picking up a bunch. I really... I'm really bad about this and this is probably going to be the last time I buy a whole lot of ribbon that's not specifically for a, a purpose itself. Like if I need a certain color, you know, maybe I'll have to go buy some. But I ought to be good to go on ribbon for a long time. But there's like a light pink, a dark pink, a red. There's this um, orange in here and it's really pretty. There's some green, a light blue, a black, and then there's a gray. I mean, all kinds of different colors. It's all sheer ribbon. There is six yards, it looks like, on each one. Picked up a pack of the double-sided tape. I wanted to do the planner cover with that bag that um, looks like the galaxy and says, Love you to the moon and back. So I thought I'd get some of the double-sided tape to tape down the little moon to the the back part of it, and I plan to laminate that. So. They also had a different color of this burlap ribbon. It's nine feet in the package, and it's like a green color. Some of you may have already seen this, but they have pink, and they have like the brown. I'm trying to think what other colors they may have had, but I saw that, and I was pretty sure I didn't have any, so I thought, well, I'd just get one pack and see. They also had some of this burlap ribbon with in different colors. This is a red, a black, and a white chevron. These are really pretty. Um, there's nine feet in these as well. It's got that printed. I thought I only got one of each of these two. I just wanted to try it. And then they also had it in the polka dot. So I got one of each of those. And, you know, depending on your Dollar Tree, like one of them I went into only had one little box of these so there's like two of each of of all of them and then another dollar tree i had it actually had two of them in there but like mine um it just seems like they don't get like a whole lot of something they get like one of this or one of that one box and then there's not a whole lot maybe even in that box i did find a dollar tree that had the different kind of shells so if you're on the lookout for shells know that there some of the dollar tree does have some of the other shells before, when I picked up packs, they only had the ones with these type of shells in it, and some were the colored ones in one, and then the other one was just like all white, but they all look like this. But this one actually has some of the conch shells in it, and it's got the variety. So if you're on the lookout for that, um, keep looking at your Dollar Trees. And it may be that the other ones I had originally got my shells at may have had these, and they just sold out, because really, for a dollar a bag, that's pretty good. At Walmart, I paid probably 3 or $4 for a bag that was twice this size, but if I would have seen them at the Dollar Tree, I would have just gotten two of these. 
I have a beach themed um, decor thing coming up soon so stay tuned that will be posted within the next week I've seen a few other people haul these little letters um, they're on the little wood blocks and they've got like a little picture holder on the top of them so they have these with the tan backgrounds and the blue letters and the white polka dots and then they also have green ones with a kind of a an ivory colored letter and it says it's just a picture holder but somebody on YouTube and I would just say look it up um, by you know search box painted these and used the word home and put like the little animals stack the animals on the H like the farm animals and I thought that was really cute so, so she did home and I was thinking about just doing it and putting them all together to make my name just as a little decor decoration in my craft area. So it's an it's like it's a new season and Dollar Tree has new colors coming out again. So there's like a blue, a green, and a purple, and a pink. There is a different kind of color pink too. I don't have a, a sample of the green, but of course, you know, when they come out with the new storage stuff and the new colors, then they always get these little um, containers in with the drawers. And so here's the blue and the purple. They're kind of like a darker, I guess this is more like a blue jean blue to me. And then this purple is kind of dark and it's really pretty. I looked downstairs between the last time that, um, at the beginning of summer when they had the purple, like a lighter pink and that teal blue, the purple still looks about the same to me. Cause I was like, ooh, I wish I would have gotten more of the purple. But before, because I couldn't find like 10 million of one color and 10 million in the other, I did the purple and the pink and alternated them. Like I, I glued two purples together and then two pinks together and put them together and then I'd put the pink and the purple alternating them. I'll try to insert a picture of that. But I have gotten all kinds of little um, scrapbooking things and paper clips and different things and erasers that I've stuck in these and I just love them and my son said he would like to have some for his desk so I did buy four different blue ones just for him to have and I'll glue them together and put them on his desk for him with that of course they came out and they have the little things that look like the ice cream holders and they have them in, in those colors as well. And they did have this in the green, but the, they did not have the green in the in these. They just had the pink, the blue, and the purple in these. So I don't know. And I was there when they actually opened up the box of these at my local Dollar Tree. But then they have these colors. And these are just gonna be for decoration purposes only. I think I would get mad if I tried to eat my ice cream out of there. You know and couldn't eat the cone just saying I like adding these little birds to different floral arrangements and everything and so they have this beautiful cardinal of course he's got that little clip on the bottom where you can kind of clip them to a floral arrangement if you want to I may add one of those to my one of my dad's graveside things um, but now they've got a tropical parakeet and I just love the colors on him. So super cute. And they had different colors of them that they've listed as tropical parakeets. So, you know, these are three to four dollars at Joann's. And even with your coupon, you're not going to beat that price. I think I showed that one. And then there, this one's also the tropical parakeet, but he's got more red in him. They're so cute. Found one new different thing of wall art, which I have way too much right now. But this says, I was made for sunny days. And here it is. This is an intended way of being on the wall. And it's not that large. I could actually probably use this on the Father's Day plot. Yeah, these would actually fit on these little Father's Day plaques too. If you wanted to coat them with the contact paper 
and whitewash it or just even paint it black and put this, well, I wouldn't do black because the lettering's in black, but maybe a off-white or something, chalk paint. So one Dollar Tree I went in actually already had some fall flowers that they were setting out and I wasn't even going to get them at first and then I was like, well, they were too pretty to pass up. But these are mums. And they have them in three different colors. And they're really just beautiful. And so every year they carry, um, you know, something where they do the, the leaves and like there's a pine cone in there and a pumpkin. But this is just called maple pumpkin. So I guess those are maple leaves. But these are really nice. I don't know. I think um, there is some cheap floral at the Dollar Tree, and then there's some that you just can't believe that they can put that out and only charge a dollar for that. It's got some berries on it. So this one is more of like yellow and brown. This was red and orange. This just says fall foliage, and it's just some of the leaves on there. Now in the past, you know, I've gotten like the um, the leaves that are in the garland and wrapped them around my little um, thing that I put a, just a small garden flag on outside and wrapped it up around it. I've wrapped the leaf garland around some planters that we have outside just to kind of dress them up and I just love that stuff. I have seen these at a Dollar Tree for several months. They don't seem to like they're disappearing off the shelf or anything and I look at them every time and think how much I really like them and what I could do with them. So I finally just went ahead and bit the dust and went ahead and picked them up but they're little votive holders in the leaves and they're definitely fall colors. But they had this one, they had this one, and this one. So this one's like this leaf, but it's just a different color. So they had three different ones. I can think of all kinds of things to maybe do with these to put it in the top of something for it to sit there. These are pretty on their own, so you don't even have to worry about adding anything to it, but you could. You know, you could add some of these other leaves in around it and 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 put the little votive in there and it's just it's so pretty maybe even some double-sided tape on some of the votive holders or the little votives in them to hold them in there so that if you put it up somewhere you know you could put them in there just the little pumpkin votives at the Dollar Tree and they're super cute so Different things are already coming out for fall, so I guess, you know, if you, I love fall. I love fall colors. I, I love fall. I'm not ready for summer to be over with, don't get me wrong, but I love fall, and I love decorating for fall, and I love the smell. I love spices, you know, all that stuff, so, you know, when it gets here, it gets here, and I'm definitely going to try to enjoy the summer as, as it's here, but, and speaking of which, since we're going to the beach, I did. I found the one that I had bought last year. I wasn't sure if I'd brought it home or not, but just a sifter to go through sand so we can do shells. I did pick up this little guy. I've done a couple other um, DIY things that I'm going to share next week, and I may end up uh, painting over him as well. But I might take him to the beach just to see if I can make things in the sand for him. Interestingly enough, he does say made in the USA on there. Went ahead, I found a nice big pail and shovel at the Dollar Tree. Some of them are smaller. Some of them, even the shovel that comes with them is not very big. So be on the lookout for that because in, in my DIY that I'm going to show you next week, the little spoon that comes with it is so small. It's so funny. And then they also, of course, had these little ones just like this that have the sticker on the eyes that I'd like to do something with, too. So I did get two. The last thing I'm going to show you that I got, um, I did get two of the 11 by 14 picture frames from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to plan to use the wall art on these. 
So that's it for my Dollar Tree haul today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. If you um, haven't hit subscribe already, go ahead and hit that button. If you hit it again or hit the bell, that'll notify you every time I upload a video. Don't have a strict schedule right now um, with my work schedule in 12 hour days and I work different days a week. It's hard for me to commit to a, a specific day, but I may end up doing that in the, in the future. I really appreciate you stopping by and taking time out of your day to visit my channel. Thanks so much. Um, if there's anything that you're looking for as a wish list, leave it down in the comments below. My wish list is the plates and stuff that they came out with, with um, the anchor and uh, I think one was the, the wheel, like the steering wheel from a ship. I haven't seen those at any Dollar Tree that I have been in. And I'm on the East Coast. Um, we're getting ready to go to the beach next week. I may have time to go buy one. I don't even know if there are any down that way or on the way. I'm sure there is. But me asking my family for me to stop in and look at Dollar Trees on the way might be pushing it. But I have not seen any of those, and I would love to find some of that dinnerware. I really wanted to find some of the terrariums, the clear plastic terrariums. I never saw one of those. So I don't know if those are just went to certain areas and not others. I know a lot of people comment that their Dollar Tree never gets certain things, and I always feel bad because, you know, my local Dollar Tree, I live in a small town, but we have a pretty decent sized Dollar Tree and they tend to get a lot of different things. I've went out looking for things and then, you know, a few days later go come home and, and go to mine and then they have stuff. So, you know, it just depends. So if, if there's wish list or unicorn items, let me know what yours are in the comments down below. Hope you guys um, have a wonderful weekend. Take care and God bless.